Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. As you can judge by the title already, this is going to be a really interesting one. I got my fake glasses on, so that means we are going to see through some fake people today. Before we get to today's video though, I just want to take out a minute just to say thank you to all of you guys. The support you guys have been showing this channel is crazy. Keep on liking, keep on sharing, keep on commenting, keep on pushing this to your social media so that many people can be aware of the dangers within forex trading. Um, before we jump to the video though, if you're new here, smash that subscribe button because we are going to be exposing some more people. Now, today you can obviously judge by the title that we will be reviewing someone that is very revered in this industry. We will be talking about none other than Young Ammo, the Forex guru, Mr. Kill the Market every day. And there's a few things that I found about him that just doesn't sit well with me. Now, for Young Ammo, I'm gonna have two videos. This is part one, and I'm gonna upload a part two later on in the day, which will show um, an exchange between him and a client and then um, concerning part one I just want to break this video up into three parts the first part we will talk about um, obviously the first red flag that no one saw coming then there is a second part in, in today's video where we will talk about how Xness just opened everything and then the third part we will talk about the conclusions so Without any further ado, let's just jump in. Okay, so not too long ago, everyone saw young Emo celebrating the fact that he just opened his own broker. Right now, I am the youngest Forex broker owner. The CEO, 100%, I own 100% shares of Elite Pro Market. I own 100% of Elite Pro Market. And Obviously, I was happy for him as well as everyone were, but there were just a few things that just weren't kosher. The thing is, everyone was happy for him, but there's a right way of doing things. Do you go eat at a restaurant that doesn't have health inspection, that doesn't have um, that inspection where they come check if there's no cockroaches in your shop or if your shop isn't dirty, health inspection basically? You know what I'm saying? So why would you go and put your money in a brokerage that is not FSP licensed? And that is just the point that I want to make here. Elite Pro Markets was never registered with the FSAA, which means it is not allowed to provide any financial services, which is what a brokerage does. That is the first red flag. The second red flag was as I was trying to access Elite Pro Markets website through Instagram and through Twitter, I saw that the website was down and I couldn't access it. Now, I'm not sure if, if, if everything folded in or what is happening, but the point is the website is down. So how do people make withdrawals? How do people make deposits? I'm not sure, but that is a big, big, big red flag. The second thing that I wanted to talk about is the fact that Xness and the copy trading system blew everything out of the water. Now, this is a um, track record. When you do copy trading, right, uh, Xness keeps a track record of how you've been trading, how you've been withdrawing, how many investors you have, the drawdowns, everything. Now, firstly, I want to draw your attention to the profile, the first thing that you see when you click on Young Ammo's strategy. You will see that his risk score is a 9 out of 10, which means it is very risky to copy his trades. You will also see that his profitability is a round zero. Now, I'm not going to judge that and um, I'm not going to make him look bad just like that, you know. But what I saw further into this website really showed me that everything that you see, the slogan, Mr. Kill the Markets every day, there's nothing true about that, right? So when I go in on the the profitability, yes. When I go on the profitability, for January, 
you will see that there's a plus 200% profitability, right? Just just keep that in mind. 200, it's it's 280, right? I I saw it once. I didn't um, look again, but there's 200 plus percent profitability in February. Zero percent. Now, when you look at the drawdowns, the drawdowns tell a bit the story. The drawdowns tell a bit the story. Now, in January, you can see there was one drawdown to 100%. And in February, you can see that there was twice that drawdowns were made to 100%, which means the accounts blew where the drawdown came to 100%. And that is just something to take note of because when you look at the Instagrams, you see blue screens every day, even during February, while this was happening, while accounts was blowing, while um, his profitability went to shit, you just saw blue screens. Like, where's the transparency? Where is telling the people, but listen, it's a dip right now, you know? And obviously people can see, but now when you look at, 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 at his profile, he's not pushing that so hard. So people is not gonna go and look for that, right? People isn't gonna go look for that. And this to me is a little bit worrying because when you look at the amount of investors he had, and to how much it dropped to within one month, you can already see that something is fishy because for him to drop from 400 plus investors to 100 plus investors in one month already tells me that January wasn't all that good either. Guys, you can make 200 plus percent on one trade. And when I look at this guy's risk, right his risk score is a 9 out of 10 which means this guy took abnormal amounts of risk when you take that much risk right it's easy to turn on a luck trade it's easy to turn your account 300 400 percent on one trade no lies no lies people have been trading for a while can attest to this but when you look further it's just zero, zero, zero. When you look at the drawdowns, the fact that they were twice in February that, that the full, that the accounts were blown. And people still read into the fact that he says, Mr. Kill the Markets every day. I don't, I don't, I don't understand this. I don't understand this. Um, so if you ever wanted to know, if you ever wanted to know how profitable his prophetic robots is because that is obviously what the strategy on Xness is based on. I guess you have your answer now. And the crazy thing about this is in part two, in part two, you will see that this specific client of his bought the robot from him. And it was like, he just lost. It just kept on blowing accounts. You will see in part two. I will upload part two. Um, I think I will do it tomorrow morning. But do you, do, you, do you get what I'm trying to say? And then the thing is this. I remember when prophetic uh, strategy came out. It was a lot of money. Now it's worth nothing. So if you ever wanted a gauge as to how profitable the prophetic strategy is. You have it now. So the third part in the video that I want to talk about is um, what is left? What is left the aftermath, right? Firstly, there's a lot of people with blown accounts now. There's a lot of people that probably went and put themselves in debt to go and join these copy trading system. His copy, his copy trading system. There's a lot of blown accounts. There's lost money there's 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 no accountability because you will see in part two how he gave that client a run around you will be shocked and i never expected this i never expected this the other crazy part is there's no refunds so if you lost your money based on following him and his 
copy trading because the thing is with copy trading right copy trading is very much different to a signal a signal you can still decide okay am i going to enter am i not going to enter meanwhile with copy trading if he press buys it automatically buys on your end if he press sells it automatically sells on your end so there's no way you can stop it so if you've joined it your account is at his mercy so the fact that there's no refunds already tell you that nah at, at something you know i'm not gonna say something is up because maybe he helped other people trade good maybe he taught other people well maybe he helped other people make money but this is just how i saw and when i look at how xness just blew everything out of the water it's just insane and there hasn't still been another update on xness so which means he didn't take trades on xness for the month yet it's the fourth day of the month mr kill the markets every day weren't you supposed to be trading for the past few days this is just full-on speculation on my end now but my opinion as to why he hasn't placed any trades for march yet is because xness tracks everything you cannot jipple xness you cannot you cannot add things that's not there and when you look at when you look at the broker he's been promoting now he doesn't even want to he doesn't even want to show the broker's name so to me that that is just a lot of suspicion it causes a lot of suspicion to me why aren't you showing the broker what are you hiding from us you know what i'm saying and if you guys take into consideration the video i made not too long ago about the white label brokers it's time to open our eyes guys we shouldn't let mustangs and mercedes and bmws and lamborghinis cloud our vision these people are robbing us overnight and by saying nothing we are just allowing them to do what they want if you came this far thank you for watching smash the like button for the youtube algorithm and so that youtube can suggest this video to other people comment go bananas let me know what you thought about the video and then also stay tuned for part two if you're new here i welcome you to my channel it would be awesome to have you as a subscriber but on that note ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys in the next video cheers